Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to watch a clip. We're going to be buying the Heavy Scarab, which is part of the new Arena War DLC that was released today. So I've already done some of the adversary mode missions with it. It's really fun. There's a lot of customizations on it. The price is about $3 million if you buy it without the trade price, which you can get from, you know, participating in the Arena Wars and leveling up. Just so you guys know, a big tip, if you plan on buying the Heavy Scarab, it is the first thing that you will get a discount on. I literally played about three or four of the adversary modes and I ended up unlocking it or unlocking the discount price. But unfortunately, I've already bought it. And I, you see right here in this clip, I bought the Apocalypse version of it, which I didn't like because it's kind of rusty. So I did all this customization with it. I sold it. And then I ended up buying the, uh, I don't know, the, the Shock skin. And then that's the one that I have now. So we're going to do a real quick tutorial on the different types of upgrades, customizations. I'm also going to give you my thoughts on it. I'm going to take it out on the street to test the weapons, the boost, the jump. And then we're going to take it into the arena and play a little clip so you guys kind of see how it performs. And also, you know, what to expect in the arena wars. So here we go right now. I'm just going to put the basic stuff on like whenever I do. I always put the engine, brake, transmission modifications on first. And then I'll do the customizations. There is a lot of customizations. However, a lot of them are locked. You will need to play the arena war. Uh, adversary mode to unlock those or you can go ahead and pay a you know significantly higher price and you can unlock them immediately you'll see right here I bought this thing for about three million and by the time this clip is over I mean I put uh, I don't know probably like almost like and it feels like another two million into it again you can't really look at my money because I bought this one customized it fully sold it only got like 2.8 million and then I ended up buying another one recustomize it and doing all that so you'll see something like the, uh, the boost upgrades there. You can go ahead and pay over 500000 if you want to automatically unlock the uh, top boost or the shunt boost, which I'm not really sure what the difference is right there. Maybe once I play tonight during the live stream, you can kind of see what that difference is. And then you got a bunch of other bodywork modifications that are going to cost a pretty penny. And a lot of those you can unlock as well from you know just participating in the mode. So that's what I would recommend if you're tight on cash, unless you have a specific, uh, specific preference on going ahead and getting the spikes or any of these little modifications added on to the vehicle. Uh, I do apologize. This is like the third or fourth video I've posted today. I've posted one earlier with a little teaser about some of the basics of the motor. I'm sorry, the Arena War DLC that came out. I also did one where I purchased the Arena, so you can kind of see what type of price you're going to pay, what kind of options you have with it. Then I have this one right here. I also did a Red Dead Redemption uh, multiplayer online with some friends last night. Just basically the highlights of us messing around and having some fun. So I will be doing a GTA live stream tonight. Hopefully I have enough friends to make it interesting. If not, we'll just go ahead into the arena, have some fun, take some people out, get killed ourselves, cause hell. But uh, hopefully it'll be enjoyable and entertaining in the process. If you guys want to join and you're not already on my friends list on Xbox, just go ahead and add me. My gamer tag is Goose Gaming YT. And then you can go ahead and just jump in and join us when we start that. I'm hoping to start that live stream, you know, roughly within an hour. I have to finish editing this one with the voiceover. Then I have to upload it, download it again, upload it to YouTube and, you know, create the thumbnail and all that stuff. I'm not going to bore you with that. But my thoughts of this so far is there are certain adversary modes for Arena Wars that it's perfect for. And there are some that it's horrible for. So I did mention that I'm going to go ahead and buy one of the cars that came out today. Just to kind of have a balance of a car and also have the tank depending on which mode you're in. You know, one's going to be specifically better than the other one. So there's some other options here. I'm going to kind of keep it somewhat basic. I don't want to have the fully armored uh, modifications on there. I did find out that the armor does not really matter at all. Whether you have level 1 armor or you have maxed out armor. It's still going to take the same amount of rockets, same amount of RPGs. I also test that out after I'm done customizing this so you can kind of see what to expect as far as, you know, how many RPGs you can take or how many rockets from an oppressor. Although I don't have any information on how many rockets or machine gun fire it will take from a Hydra, which is obviously another threat lurking in the lobbies. So I guess you'll have to figure that out in your own. I'm really interested in getting another car. I'm not sure if it's going to be the... Uh, I don't know if it's the Impala or the other car. I forgot the name of them already. I haven't really played with them too much. I've just been playing with this one so far. 
some modes you won't have the option you know that's why it's good to have at least a car and a uh, tank or the van because some modes you can only use a car or a motorcycle so it would really suck to spend all this money and not be able to use your custom vehicle so I will definitely do that unfortunately I won't have enough time to do that before the live stream tonight so hopefully after the live stream after I sell some elegies I'll have enough cash to go ahead and purchase one of those cars customize it and do another video on that do some testing and then we'll go ahead and take it from there so it does get pretty expensive you know that mounted 50 cal cal uh, caliber machine gun is sick it's actually a laser I don't know if it's like that for every vehicle but I know for the heavy scarab it is some futuristic laser that shoots out so it's actually pretty cool it's a you know a different type of weapon than we're used to in the game so that kind of makes it pretty cool there you do have a bunch of proximity mines the one I picked was the slick and what it does is it just leaves kind of like an oil spot players drive over it they lose traction for a little bit kind of swerve but it's only something that lasts about five seconds I'm not too sure how many of those um, landmines are actually going to be worth it. Maybe the EMP one or some of the other ones might be a better better situation. I know there's one that will pop your tires, but I don't know how long that lasts either. I'm sure they, you know, go back to being uh, regular tires after a couple seconds. So this is what I did after I ended up selling the Apocalypse version of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I ended up buying the shock skin and customize it. Now we're going to go ahead and take it out on the street so you can see how it handles, the speed, weapons, jumping, boost, all that type of stuff that we just paid tons of money for. So it's not bad, it kind of really reminds me of like an APC, although because of the tracks it's not going to go up and over, you know, obstacles like the APC would or even the Kanjali. It will get caught on some things and you will notice that in the adversary mode too. Sometimes if you get a car underneath you, you might be screwed and might not be able to move back or forth. So we just tested out the jump right there. It's pretty cool similar to like the ruiner and then you also have those uh, landmines that I just dropped which this one has happens to be the slick mine so we're just gonna go over it just to see what the effects are and you see it, it's that flashing green dot that's up on the screen took me a little while to figure that out so you see we lose traction for a little bit nothing too major I'm wondering if you're in a car with four wheels maybe you know it might be a little bit more significant as far as the damage so there's the test on the 50 caliber laser pretty strong only need to really get behind somebody for about three seconds and just lay off I mean lay on it it does have a cooldown period but the cooldown period seems to be pretty quick and then you can keep going and, and firing again so so far it's pretty decent the boost is okay the jumps okay it's another nice feature to have so you can get in and out of you know danger or right into the thick of things and go out and start your killing rampage so we're gonna go ahead and take it in I think we're gonna go ahead and start up one of these adversary missions Okay, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and test to see how much damage this can take. It will take six RPGs. It will take four missiles from an Oppressor MK2. Not sure how many missiles or machine gun it can take from a Hydra. Just know you can get shot through the front uh, windshield by a player or a cop. Hopefully this video helps you guys decide if you want to go ahead and purchase this. Let you guys know what to expect. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Hope to see you during the stream. I'll let these two knucklehead announcers take it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. I'm Jock Cranley, taking some time off from acting and campaigning. You know, Al, traveling to a lot of cities in this country, all you see is carnage. You certainly do. And in here, it's last man standing, or should I say, man or woman? Yes, or woman. God, I love women. You know, I, I miss the old days when you can smoke inside. You know, Jock, you're a dinosaur. I love you, but you're older than shit. I took a course. I get it. Now the kids love me. This is going to be a great match. Great for the ratings, too. Well, Jock, we're about to kick off this match. Are you excited? Absolutely. Carnage is the name of this match.
We will see some breathtaking moments here tonight as people fight for money until they die. I love it. She's almost over.